Hey, I'm Albert from Muffin Group and from now on I will be making a video tutorials about the Bee Theme and the Bee Builder. If you have any feedback about this video or just want me to make a tutorial about something you don't know how to use, feel free to leave me a comment and I will do my best to help you. Ok, so let's move on to the topic. While working with the Bee Builder, you may meet the top mark deprecated, which is great out. No worries, you didn't done anything wrong nor it's not an error or bug. Deprecation is the discouragement of use for an old feature. Often, the old feature remains functional in the interest of backward compatibility, so legacy projects don't break. You may notice such tap in some cases like you've updated B-Team to the most recent version from the time where B-Builder wasn't included in the team yet, or you just imported one of the pre-built websites that had been made before the B-Builder was released. To ensure backward compatibility with your current projects and older pre-built websites, we had to mark some options as deprecated. There is no need to take any action, but if you are planning to work on such projects or just want to make some adjustments, it's a great moment to drop such options. Let's take a look on my screen. I've just imported one of such older pre-built websites and now I'm gonna show you how to get rid of deprecated options. I will operate on the section with vegetables book image. If I will go to settings of that section, at the bottom you will see the deprecated section that is grayed out. It's exactly the same tab you just saw already. First three options are responsible for the background. Color, position and size. What I'm gonna do now is get that color and copy it into the right place in the advanced tab. Ok, let's move to the next option. Uh, the next one was background position and in the deprecated tab it's set to left top no repeat. However, in the advanced tab this option was split on two uh, select fields. First one is repeat so I'm gonna set no repeat and the other is position and this one will be top left. That's great. The last setting was the background size and it was set to auto so I'm gonna set exactly the same option here. Ok, I have moved all three options responsible for the background. So now I'm going back to the settings deprecated tab to clear these fields. Uh, the background color has to be cleared but the other two selects has to be set to default. And the last thing I have to do is just update this page and reload the page builder. Now. If we will go to the settings of that section, you will see that all three options responsible for the background has disappeared from the deprecated tab. That's exactly what I wanted to achieve. Alright, let's do the same thing with the three options that left. Padding top, bottom and left and right padding. I'm going to advanced spacing tab and my top will be zero, right zero bottom 60 and left 0. When it's done we can also clear these fields then click update button and refresh the page builder. As you can see the paddings from the previous settings are kept but the appreciated tab is completely gone now. This is exactly what I wanted to do Move all settings from the deprecated tab to the appropriate fields in the advanced tab. Like mentioned previously, you can ignore the deprecated tab and leave them as they are, as backward compatibility is ensured, but if you are planning to make some changes and want everything to look perfect and the options to be in its appropriate places, you can move them to the right tab, advanced or style, depends if it's section, wrap or element. That is all for this video, thanks for watching and remember to like, subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. If you have more questions, please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.